So the stars, the, the, the gaseous models of the stars, straight up don't have a container. You have to define volume, temperature, mass, and you can't define volume if you haven't got a container. You can't define the radius of a, a spherical gaseous object that, that doesn't have a container. Gravity kind of is brought into the fold to be this mysterious force that pulls on the gaseous particles and attracts them to each other and so kind it's, of acts as a quasi-container. Somebody might be listening to this and be like, well, the atmosphere of the Earth is held on with gravity, right? And that's a gas. So how is that different? The first thing is, the first thing is, <laughs> the Earth's surface is condensed matter. It's a wall. The gravitational uh, forces between the particles and Earth is different. That's not the gravitational forces between the particles themselves, right? There are no other forces, in fact, between the particles of an ideal gas. There are no forces, except, as I said, with the collisions with the walls of the container and themselves.